What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mood. Welcome to another episode of the Warboss Chop Shop. Today, we are going in full speed ahead to Project Pre-Heresy. And I've started by building up this model for the Warhounds Space Marine Legion, which would later become known infamously as the World Eaters. So let me show you what I built him out of and what you can use in your bits box to create the same kind of look. The first thing you'll notice is that this is a, just amalgamation of a bunch of different Mark II kits with some other stuff. So originally this was a Space Marine, a Legion Space Marine in Mark II armor from Forge World with uh, it's supposed to be a jump pack marine, and that would have been awesome, except that when I got this off eBay, in order to charge more, the vendor didn't include the, the jump packs. So when I got this guy, he had the chain chainsword, he had the bolt pistol, and he didn't have a jump pack. So I uh, had to buy bolters, because I think uh, strapping a bolter to this guy's back with some Gale Force 9 chain would be cool. And then I bought for a lot cheaper than I would have expected, I think it was only a couple bucks when I bought it, this Legion Mark II backpack for heavy arm, uh, heavy weapons squads. I think they're called uh, destroyers or something. So it's got a little bit of a extra ammo canister. The two vents are not on the side but are more like facing in the back. And it's got this little light viewfinder outspecs thing on it. So I, th I thought that was pretty cool, and it's Mark II, just like the rest of the armor, which is why I bought it. So how did I make him specifically a Warhounds guy? Well, I added this little chain with skull onto his belt, because when you read the Warhammer 40k wiki, it tells you that the Warhounds were into trophy taking, and by trophies they mean skulls. So that could be an awesome way of utilizing some blood and gore effects with some Tamiya Clear Red. Also, they said that they decorate their armor, specifically their shoulder pads, I've, I read, with um, spikes and blades. And that was not only to cause fear in their enemy, but also so that they could use their armor itself as a weapon. So originally I had this spike like down here at the corner facing front, so that if he wanted he could just drop his bolt pistol, run straight forward and stab a foo. But then I decided that it, it didn't look aesthetically pleasing, it wasn't, it didn't create a very good looking line. Now with it pointing more straight up, it kind of mirrors the chain sword that I've got in the other hand, and completing the Triforce back here is the little thing there. So um, I think it looks a little bit cooler, and I'll give it some, some blood effects as well. So here we have an Assault Trooper from the Space Marine Legion that would become known as the World Eaters. Um, and at this time, the color scheme that I'm going to use is the Warhounds color scheme, which you can find if you have the Forge World book Betrayal for the Horus Heresy. If you want to check out more videos on Project Pre-Heresy, continue watching this channel, or check out the build for the diorama over at Project One Gaming's YouTube channel. I'll provide a little link down below in the description, and you can head over there to see what D has got on his plate to bring the epic, awesome duel between a bunch of Warhounds and Space Wolves pre-heresy to life. So thanks for watching everybody, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Laters!